Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Guys. Good evening. How are you? Sorry, I'm having some weird interactions with Zoom. It's acting up. It's just acting up really weird. Okay, that's better. So, what's popping? What's going on? What's what popping? Yeah, what's popping? What's up, Doug? What's popping? What's up, Doug? Mm -hmm. What's popping? Like when you when you cook popcorn. Oh, popcorn. Yep. Yeah. What's going on? Everything is great, teacher. Great. Thank you, Marlon. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carlos, good evening. Okay. Good. Okay, guys. Today, uh, our mission is to review the the midterm exam part by part. We're going to start with that. What do you think? If we start checking part by part and having a a brief discussion on each part so we can cover it okay okay we can have that part covered let me just look for it first what was the last thing we did yesterday what did we do yesterday at the end of the class that we do or what in what did we yeah, what did we do yesterday? At the end of the class, what was the last topic we talked about? We were practicing about um independent clauses. Um another one it was adverbial adverbial clauses of time. Adverbial right? clauses of time, right. Can, can you give me an example while when after before when since until after us now i have a practice what now i have a practice i have a i'm not catching the last word you're saying frank i'm sorry Um, now I have to practice. Oh, okay. I need to practice more. Good. Okay. Uh, yes, we were talking about relative clauses, dependent clauses, uh, how to use the connectors at the beginning of a sentence. So in this case, um, how would you say, porque tenemos el examen de medio término, no me gusta esa palabra. <laughs> tenemos el examen de medio término lo estamos revisando hoy because we have um, because uh, we have midterm uh -huh. <laughs> lo estamos revisando ese es presente continuo Frank Lo estamos revisando. I'll review. We are reviewing. We it. are review. reviewing it. Reviewing it. Very good. Excellent. See that that was the the. So which one is the dependent clause? Okay, because we have the midterm exam, we are reviewing it. So which one is the dependent clause? The one that you cannot say alone? We are reviewing it. Mm, no. No. Uh, no, no. The opposite, <laughs> the, yeah, the other way. <laughs> the other way around, uh -huh, because we have a midterm exam. Because we have a midterm exam, we are reviewing it today, tonight. Okay, so let's go straight there and start by doing that, reviewing the midterm exam. Uh, so once you finish this, remember you have to go 
from 3.15, click on next, and we will have the first part of your midterm exam. The first section talks about circling words. Okay. Hmm. Circle? No, select the words, the ones. Okay. So read the sentences, the sentence and choose the correct part of the two-part verb missing. No. Oh. Okay, please clean up, up up on the bedroom. But we're missing some other things here. Okay. Clean up. Clean up, clean off, clean on. Now, clean I, up. Clean up. Marlon says clean up. Do you all agree? Do you agree, Giovanni, Francisco, Carlos, Erika, Ricardo, Herman? Clean up. Clean up, right? Okay, clean up. Yes. Now we're missing something, right? Clean up bedroom. The bedroom, your bedroom. It's really a mess. Okay. Mm, yeah, we're missing the uh, adjective here or the possessive possessive pronoun possessive pronouns yeah could you please put over put off put away the groceries in the kitchen wait put away put away the groceries in the kitchen could you please thank you that is correct can you put away the groceries in the kitchen why put away and not put off or put over What what's the meaning of put away? Put away. In, in English, in English, what is the meaning of put away? To put away something. Let me let me put away something. What is the meaning of putting away something? Save beautiful Spanish, yes. To save something. <laughs> to save something. Always look for synonyms. Synonyms. Okay. Y de hecho, todo verbo frasal tiene un verbo o una manera de decirse eh, de una manera normal, Frank. Siempre hay una manera normal de decirlo sin el phrasal verb. Okay. Get away. Let's keep going. Okay. Can you turn? So, what are we talking about? What kind of topic is this part? Phrasal? Sporting. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Okay. Good. So, let's practice that in the next 10 minutes. Okay. And your mission right now will be to teach your classmates at least one new phrasal verb. So since we are just nine right now, I will split you in three groups, okay? And you have to, you have to teach one new phrasal verb to your classmates really quick. How does it work? If I tell you, wake up, would you say that you don't know that phrasal verb? If I tell you stand up, <laughs> you will tell me, I don't know that phrasal verb. That's new for me, right? Be honest, be honest, don't say that, okay? If it's something is not new for you, say, oh no, I know that one. Repeat, I know that one. Repeat. I know that one. I know that one. I know that one. Next. Easy, like that, okay? So you have to teach one new phrasal verb to your classmates, okay? Don't look on Google just from here, okay? Let's see, what do you know? Practice, one, two, three, really quick. Come on, let's take the imitation. Let's go, let's go. Heh <laughs> heh. 
Hello. <laughs> okay, good. Let's start. Okay. Edwin, Rebecca, are you there? Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Okay. Who wants to start with the new phrasal verbs that you know? I'm going to start. Right. Off. Again? Right off. It's, you're breaking up. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Drive off. Oh, drive off. Okay, I'm going to write it for you on the chat. Okay, drive off. Hey, um, German? Hang up. Wait, wait, wait. German. Um, Edwin, did you know or do you know what is drive off? German, Edwin, say no, yes. Drive off. Drive off. Look at the chat. Rebecca said drive off. What is the meaning of drive off? You don't know? No. No, Edwin? Algo así como inyectar o expulsar. Oh, come on, no Spanish. <laughs> That's the point. Uh, now, Rebecca, can you give an example with drive off? I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, I drive, I got into a car and I drove off. And I drove off. Okay, you heard, Edwin, German? I got into the car and I drove, I drove off. Huh? Drove off, drove off. Dr drive, drove, driven. Yeah, drove off, you got it. And I drove off, okay. You got it, Edwin, German? Yes. Okay, so I got into the car and I drove off. It's like saying. Okay, a synonym. A synonym of that phrasal verb will be like flee. To fly away, to run away. Okay. Next. My God. Mm. Okay. okay. Next, hang, Edwin, hang, German. Hang, hang up. Hang up. Yes, hang up. Oh, okay. Okay, Rebecca, Edwin, do you know that phrasal verb, hang up? Yes. Okay, Rebecca knows it. Edwin, do you know it, hang up? Or did you hang up, Edwin? <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, this is the point. You have to say, yes, I know it. No, I don't know it. Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example? Okay. An example with Hinab, German. Uh, hang up the, the chair. Hang up the chair. Mm, try something else. Hang up. Oh, okay. Hang up the, the, the call. Hang up the call, hang up the phone. Edwin, did you get it? Okay, well, Edwin yes. is, yeah, okay. Yes. Yes. You got it, you got it. Okay, it's your turn, Edwin. It's your turn to give one phrasal verb, okay? I will be back, have to go to another classroom, okay, another room. Mm -hmm. Uh, listen up. 
is listen up. No. No. Listen. Uh -huh. no. listen up. No. Okay. Here's the point. Who's giving a phrasal verb right now? Who is giving a phrasal verb? Yeah. All of us are giving phrasal verb at the same time. Take turns. Take turns. Hold on, call back. Okay, call back. Call back. Okay, does everybody know call back? It's like to call someone uh, back. In return. <laughs> uh -huh, in return. In return, okay. Patlas, Patlas, dicen los puertorriqueños. Déjame llamarte Patlas, déjame llamarte Patlas. Ahorita te llamo Patlas. Okay. Hold on, también estamos viendo. Hold on. Hold on. Uh -huh. Like to okay. wait something in a short time. Wait, wait, wait! Don't say, don't say the meaning. Just listen. Right. Yeah. Carlos, do you know what is hold on? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Frank, do you know what is hold on? Um, no. Okay. Hold. Hold on. I'll tell you. Okay. Erica, do you know what is hold on? Is to wait something. To wait for something, okay. So, yes or no? Yes, Erica knows. Frank, did you get it? No, yeah. okay. Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> That's the point. Give an example if, if the rest of your classmates don't know the meaning. So, let's see, Erica, you had one, right? Fell, fell on, you said, or oh, fall on. Uh, uh, no. Break down. Okay, break down. Okay, like that, break down. Yes. Again, Carlos, do you know the meaning of breakdown? Come on. No, don't say it, just yes or no? No. No, okay. Marlon, do you know the meaning of breakdown? No, teacher, no. Francisco, you know the meaning of breakdown? Uh, Maybe um, yes, no, yes or no, <laughs> no, Erica. Okay, give an example. Could you please break it down for them and tell them what is the meaning of breakdown? Uh, is uh, broke, broke uh, something <laughs> to break something? No, okay, let me break it down for you so you can understand, okay. Okay. Let me break it down for you. Careful with the mosquitoes. Oh my God, did you kill it? Did you kill it, Carlos? Yeah, he killed it. <laughs> did you kill him? Did you yes. kill? Did you kill the bastard. Ugh, I hate mosquitoes. I hate, no kidding, no kidding. I hate mosquitoes. I have this here near near to me. They they follow me because I'm I'm too sweet. I'm too sweet for mosquitoes. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me break it down. Let me break it down. Let me explain you. You got it? Let me break it down for you. That's the meaning. Let me explain you. Hmm. To explain something to break in pieces to break something down in pieces but this is figurative in a figurative way to say that I'm going to that's the meaning okay let me break it down for you okay next yeah, teacher I, I have a question right yes and uh, because when I looking for some pictures about breakdown at Google um it appears some image image uh, showing something in a wrong fixing like um like a car is stuck in the street because it has some problem yes so, uh -huh. that's another meaning when your car is broke down yes break down okay okay but look for the phrase let me see let me break it down for you is the meaning of I'm going to explain you <laughs> wow okay listen Rooster. 
Let me break it down Barney style for you. Okay, I'm going to explain it to you right now. <laughs> Did you get it? I found an image. <laughs> Déjame explicártelo al estilo de Barney. Oh my God, okay. Did you find this? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Good, let me... Okay, let's continue. Carlos, go ahead. It's your turn. Don't worry about the roster. Keep going. Okay. Give an example. Another phrasal verb, and then you challenge your classmates. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Okay. Let me give you an example. Okay. Got it? Okay. You only have like two minutes. Keep going. Keep going. No. Sales example. Okay, come back. Okay, this is the way, guys. Let me help you. Okay, a little bit really quick. Because we're almost done with the activity. This is a great activity, actually. Um, Giovanni, give me a, a phrasal verb. Break off. Wake up. Break. <laughs> Break. Off. Break off. Okay. Ricardo, do you know break, break off. off? Do you know break off? Yeah. Do you is, know? Uh, the, yes or no? Yes or no? <laughs> no. No. No? no? Okay. You don't know? Okay. Kike, break off. Yes or no? No. No? Okay, oh. Giovanni, give us an example. Um, okay. I was washing, I was washing the dishes, but one break off in one my hands. Broke off. Broke. Broke off on my hands. Or in, no, okay. on my hands. Okay, good. Did you get the meaning now, Ricardo? Kike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Can you give me a synonym of break off? Yeah. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay, excellent. Broke is not... <laughs> Good. Okay. Is your turn, Crash. Ricardo? What? My Crash. turn. Crash. Yes, that's a synonym. A, cra a, a dish just crashed on my hand, but that's when, when you hit it. It crashed in my hand and it yeah. in pieces. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. Ricardo, Sina, um, give us your phrasal verb. Go, go up. Go up. Go. Ah, go. Oh, grow, grow up. Grow up. No, no. Oh, go. Geo, go. Geo, okay, go, go up. up. Okay, go up. Giovanni, do you know what's go up? Yes or no? Ricardo say me. Huh? Is when is yes, Ricardo no. say yes. me. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, Ricardo told me. Told me. Told me. Okay. Told. Kike. Yes or no? Go up. Uh, yes. Yes? Okay, so they know. Hmm. Let's see. Kike, can you give us an example with go up? <laughs> uh, I don't know, teacher. I don't know. You said you know. <laughs> See, this is the challenge. You have to ask your classmate. You know it? Yes? No? Okay, no. You don't know. Let me give you an example. Okay. They know, teacher. They know. They know. Okay, Ricardo, give us the example. Okay. Uh, my example is the price in the supermarket of grocery go up every day. Oh, good. Goes up. Goes up. The prices or price? Prices. Okay, then yes. The prices it's at the rich. supermarket go up every day. They go up every day. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so they, what is the synonym? They Broke. increase. Increase, good, Kike. Increase. They increase, they grow, very good. One more, Kike, it's your turn. 
Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, dry off. Okay. Oh, dry drive drive off. Drive. Uh, try. Drive. Drive. Off. Drive. 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 Yeah. Okay. Ask Kike. Can you ask your classmates? Oh. <laughs> uh, I. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. You don't know, Giovanni? Okay. Oh, Ricardo? Dry off is, is like... Um... Okay, wait. You don't know? Kike, go ahead. Give it, give them an example with drive off. <sighs> Let me see. Let me see. I thought you were mimicking the noise. Vroom. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh... For example, can you drive off the car? Hmm. Let me give an example. I got into the car and I drove off. I got into the car and I drove off. Mm -hmm. I got up. Like I in a up. rush, in a rush. When you drive mm -hmm. in a rush, what is to drive in a rush? Rush. Oh. A la rápida, salir volando. Okay. De hecho, uh, cuando trabajaba en, en 7-Eleven para un call center, te me tocaba agarrar llamadas de los dependientes de las tiendas. Y siempre me van reportando que un carro se había atravesado por las ventanas de vidrio de la tienda, en la gasolinera, que había agarrado fuego la gasolinera, pero se controló, que un señor se deslizó de 80 años en, 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 en entrada, porque estaba nevando y no habían echado suficiente sal, se quebró la cadera y esas cosas, ¿no? Eh, y esta era una de las secciones más interesantes, drive off. La gente llegaba, echaba, right. echaba gasolina yeah. en, en el dispenser, okay, en el gas pump, en, la, en el dispensador de gasolina. Yeah, yeah. Y pues ni siquiera quitaban la pistola de la gasolina and they drove off. They drive off. <laughs> se iban con todo y la pistola de la gasolina, arrancaban la manguera del dispensador y así se iban por robarse la gasolina. Ok, yeah. that's, that's drive off. Mm -hmm. When when you see in the TV, have you seen it on TV? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, guys, hope you got it. Let's move on. Let's go to the break to the main room. Okay, we're just waiting for the rest. Here they come. Okay, and you are 10 again. So, eh, in the parte inferior derecha de sus controles de, um, de Zoom, están los emojis, las reacciones. Si posicionan su mouse ahí o su dedito ahí, si están en el celular, solo van a poner eso mero. Bien, Marlon. Solo sí, si, si conoces el phrasal verb. Ok. So, run, I mean, run out. Run out, run out. 
going to write it run out. Okay, to run out. No, <laughs> when it's like, oh, no, that means no, right? Solo si lo conoces, pone el tendidito. Giovanni dice que sí, okay, run out. Ya se los había dicho, run out. To run out, to run out. Nobody knows what is run out. Okay, good. Let me give you an example. Uh, yesterday, I ran out of money. I ran out of money yesterday. You got it? Say yes, come on. Yeah, good, good. Rebecca, you got it, okay. Ricardo, what's going on? No? Hey, Ricardo, yesterday I was driving and suddenly I ran out of fuel. I ran out of gasoline. I ran out of gasoline yesterday and I was driving. So the car started. You got it now? Good, Francisco. Francisco got it. Marlon got it. Giovanni got it. Rebecca, good as well. Okay. Kike got it. You see, this is very uh, useful, actually. It's very interesting. Okay. The bad weather. Oh, no, I'm giving you the example. Wait a minute. What about go away? That's easy. Go away. You got the meaning of go away? Do you understand go away? Giovanni, okay, Giovanni said yes. Giovanni, give us an example, go away. I go away from my wife. I went away, went away. Remember, you conjugate the verb, right? So I went away from my wife. Make a baby, pause, oh my God. Okay, I went away from my wife. I moved away, I ran away. Excellent, guys. Okay, we will continue practicing phrasal verbs later, okay? I think this is a good exercise. Did you like the exercise? That's good, right? Pushing your classmates, come on. Yes, no, yes, no. Let me give you an example. Good, excellent. Okay, where were we? Get it here. Missed it, okay, I got it. Let's go. So that was the first part of your midterm is all phrasal verbs. And then we have a second part. Read the sentences and choose between an infinitive or gerund, EC. Okay, microwave ovens are used to cook in for cooking to cook very fast. Okay, let me open the little things here. And again, I want to see your little fingers there. If what I'm saying is right or wrong, I can see you all, so use your fingers. Microwave ovens are used to cooking food very fast? Mm, no, okay. For cooking food very fast. Yes, no? Nobody's saying yes, nobody's saying no. Okay, good. Yes, for cooking food very fast. Okay, microwave ovens are used to cook very fast. To cook. To cook. Only two are saying yes, at least raise your hand, okay. Yes, okay, good. ¿Qué dice el público? Okay, good. That, to that's cook. the one. Remember, after used, you will have an infinitive, right? To cook very fast. Okay, when you go to the beach, try not to get the camcorder wet. Try not to get the camcorder wet. Yes, no? Okay, good. One, two, the rest. Okay, Rebecca says, yeah, okay. Uh, when you go to the beach, try to don't get the camcorder wet. To don't get the camcorder wet? No, right? Nobody's saying yes. Okay, good. When you go to the beach, try not getting the camcorder wet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ok, si dijiste no a la primera ni a la tercera, ni a la segunda, what, what, what the hell? <laughs> what, <laughs> which one is the good one? And, uh, do you have a new answer? <laughs> Come on, guys. When you go to the beach, try to don't get. Hmm. Remember, we, we said it. So what were the options? Try not to get, try not, not getting. Get. No. Try not to get the calm cord wet. wet. Perfect. Teacher, I, I have a, a question mm -hmm. in the the last last last, last one. Uh, last one. See, the last one. Okay. Don't uh, forget yeah. that one. Don't forget for talk for taking your ATM card with you. Don't forget taking your ATM card with you. Don't forget to take your ATM card with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to take. Okay, don't forget. okay, who says don't forget for yeah. taking your ATM card with you? Nobody? <laughs> Nobody? Okay. Yeah. Don't forget taking your ATM card with you. Rebecca saying yes to taking your ATM card with you. Okay. What about the last one? Don't forget. Did you, yeah, you mean say I knew it. <laughs> okay, don't forget to take your ATM card with you. Usually after forget, you will have an infinitive. Hmm? Uh, in past, it sounds better. I forgot taking the trash out. I forgot taking the trash out. Olvidé sacar la basura. I forgot taking the trash out. I'm sorry. Okay. Good. Okay. Simple. Let's see. What's up next? <laughs> now on the next exercise, we have rewriting. Now keep an eye on this. Rewrite the sentences. Use the correct form of the words given. Hmm. Close the door, please. So what will it be? Could you close the door, please? Was there a coma here? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay, let's see. No. Uh, you have to put question mark. Uh, the question mark. Oh. No, no. There you go. Question mark. Okay. It's a question. A request. Who can give me number two? Now, yeah. Who can give me number two? Please take out the garbage. What? what Please the... take out the garbage. What will be the right you... way? Mm -hmm. Will you please? Take Would you out the take out the garbage, please? Okay. Mm. Let's see. Both ways should work. Yeah. Would you please take out the garbage? Would you please take out the garbage? So basically, okay. what are we doing here? Who remembers what was this topic? I, uh, teacher, I have a problem with the number five. Number five, okay, but do you uh -huh. remember, in general, guys, do you remember what is this topic? Uh, some models. Requests, models. Polite. polite requests. So, no, polite. instead of giving an instruction, an instruction, please take mm -hmm. the cat out. Please take the cat out. That's an order, right? Even if you're saying please, it sounds really rude. You say please, take the card out. Okay, repeat that, please. 
It's not a question. So repeat that, please. No. Could you? You. Could you? Would you? Did I say could or would? No, could. Could you repeat that, please? Would. Could. Number five. Uh, number five. Could. Uh, number five. Okay, what what's wrong with this? Could you repeat that number five, please? Let's see. Yeah, no comma. No Not comma. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. This is a problem then. That is the problem. Uh huh. Repeat, because I, I I put the the comma and always. It's wrong. It is always wrong. And it is always wrong. It is okay. always wrong. Question marks. Question uh -huh. marks, commas, periods. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Punctuation. Yeah, this website is is set strictly to get a set of answers, you know, one or two different answers, and that's it. And if your keyboard doesn't take the apostrophe or the comma is somewhere else, you know, that may be a problem. Okay. Then we have, we don't want, hold on, what time is it? We still have some minutes, we have 15 minutes. Let's go with the next section, listening. I love this quite this listening. Okay, please pay attention. I will make you some questions, okay? Not these questions. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Stephanie, have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either, but don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Okay, what did Richard buy? A new PC. A grip. A new PC, a new computer. Good, very good. Mm, what did the guy do when when he called Richard? What did he do? He left a few message, a few messages. messages. I left him a, a few messages. Very good. A few messages. Yeah, that's what he said. Very good, guys. Great job. Now, the answer to this one, yes, you said it. You know what is a computer geek? Yes. Okay. Can you be a geek on something else? Other than computers, can you be a geek in something else? Like, can I say a math geek? Math geek? Mathematics geek? No. Sure. I don't know. I think it's a word that you use for technologic knowledge. Tech technology. Well, actually, geek. Geek, I can't remember how to say derivado in English. Oh, well, geek comes from or is related to uh, jargon. It's related to the jargon. Do you know? Do you know what is jargon? No. No. Oh. Jargon no. is when you talk in your own mm -hmm. language. Yes, like the words in Spanish that are common. Oh, yes. One not go word. Uh -uh. That's slang. Eso es. It's like, ah, okay. Slang. Eso es slang. Eh, caliche. No, no se me abre el chat, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm saying jargon. Jargon. I'm going to write it in Spanish. Okay. And this is when you say something like, uh, you know, the motherboard on this. Um, PC has 20, 282 pins and it comes with a SATA cable that goes uh, along to the hard drive, you know, and hard drive spins on 120 re revolutions per minute RPMs. Even in Spanish, 
right? Cuando hablas terminología de tu materia, como decía Rebeca, sabes de computadoras, hablas de en tu jerga, o sea, y no te va a entender nadie, right? So a math geek will be someone who talks about formulas and things like that. And, you know, nobody understands you, bro. That's really crazy. Okay? That's being a computer geek. Let's go with a little bit more of this audio. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here, be sure to put it face down, and then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Okay, what is the first step for scanning a picture? <laughs> Come on. Put the photo down. Hey, there you go, Marlon. Yes. <laughs> you have to, but she didn't say put it down. Put it down. She used something else. Hmm. Face down. <laughs> there you face go. down. <laughs> yeah, facing facing down. Facing put, down. Put the photo facing down. Okay, guys. Very good. Nice, nice. Okay, so you got it, right? This is simple. Next, we have a reading, and here definitely you have to read and then answer all of the questions just by reading. Um, have Has anybody done this part? Do you have any question related to any word in this reading, in this lecture? Any questions with new, any new word that you don't know what it means or? Does that mean chopped? Chopped. Let's practice chopped. something, Frank. Let's yeah. practice something. Puedes ubicarme dentro de ese párrafo en el que está la palabra in okay. English? Could you please leave that three along? But no, no, no. They... Listen, for example, Frank, uh, you said okay. chopped, chopped, right? Where is chopped? Oh, shout. So, digamos que tú no lo estás pronunciando bien. He said shout, shout, chop. Okay. So, you go like, teacher, that word is on the second paragraph. Is the third, one, two, three, fourth, is the fourth word on the second line. Listen is the fourth, one, two, three, four, I'm sorry, fifth, is the fifth word on the third paragraph, second line. Again, it's the fifth word on the third paragraph, second line. Okay, fifth word on the second paragraph, on the third paragraph, I'm sorry, one, two, Three, the third paragraph, second line, one, two, three, four, five. Shout it. Is that the one, Frank? Shot. Shout yes, it. Yes. Let's read it. Let... Entendieron todos cómo se da direcciones en cómo se ubica alguien. Sí. Sí, esa es una manera de hacerlo. El tercer párrafo, la segunda línea, la, palabra, la quinta palabra de la segunda línea. Same thing. Okay. I run out and shout it. I run out and shout it. Scream. When you scream really loud. Okay. Next, the family destroyed the beautiful tree. I hate it to see them cutting it down. I run out and shout it. Could you please leave the tree alone? That's shouted. Got it, Frank? Got it. You speak really loud. But they chopped, or are you talking about chopped, Frank? Yeah. They chop it down anyway. What is the phrasal verb here, Frank? They chop it, they chop it down anyway. 
La sociedad y chop down. Excellent, Frank. Yes, you got it. Chop down. Chop down. Which means to cut. To cut it down. They cut it down. They chop it down. Now, what they did with that tree, they cut it in pieces. They started from the top, then to the middle, and then to the bottom, and that's it. Many pieces. No. Got it? Uh, ese es un sinónimo de cortar, chicos, pero que, que, creo que quiere, quiero que quede claro. Eh, chop, C-H-O-P, es lo que ocupas para cortar, por ejemplo, vegetales. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah. Picar. Es decir, ahí dice lo hicieron picadillos, el árbol. They chopped it down anyway. Ok. okay. Primera vez, primera vez que lo veo así. Ok. Any other? Any other word? ¿Alguien está trabajando en un tractor? ¿Escuchan algo así como la escena final de Terminator en sus oídos? ¿O solo soy yo? Yes, teacher. What? Algo de yeah, It's like when he's walking, right, on the factory. Sounds weird. Okay. Uh -huh. Any new word? No? Okay. Get along? Do you know what is get along? To get along? Do you get along with everybody in the class? Are you getting along with everybody in the class? No? No? Llevarse bien, okay? Good. Very cool. Okay, so here you just have to read and complete the questions. That's very simple. And the last part, last part, what is it? Matching, oh, come on. Before a young man and woman speak, they sometimes arrange another date. They usually talk on the phone, on the telephone, they might chat with each other on the internet. They often meet in public, in a public place, such as a coffee cup, a coffee shop. What do you think? What's the answer? Before a young man and woman speak. They might chat with each other on the internet. Yeah, that's true. That's what I will say. Excellent, very good. Before Tehi meet for the first time, yeah. hmm. what what means Tehi, teacher? I think this is incomplete. Before Tehi meet for the first time, it's they, teacher. I think. They. Oh, they, they. yes, true. Before they meet for the first time, they sometimes arrange another date. They usually talk on the telephone. Yeah. Before, yeah. What do you think? I agree. Okay. They usually talk on the phone. Let's see. When they have their first date, they sometimes arrange another date. They usually talk on the phone. What is it? They, they often meet in a public place. In a public so place, very good, such as a coffee shop. A coffee shop. Okay, and the last one, after they meet for the first time, they sometimes arrange another date. They usually talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. True, the first, the first line is true. They sometimes arrange another date. <gasps> Should I click the submit button? If they meet for the first time. Ah, uh, find first out. Time find out if that's those are the answers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Don't forget, do this um 
exercises this test before tomorrow so we can all be on the same page es importante que terminemos todo 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 eh, vayamos al día y de ser posible adelante para que el, hoy hoy el lunes empeces con la sección 4 y así terminamos a tiempo. Les recuerdo que este módulo va a terminar el 18 de enero de 2021. No, paja. El 18 de diciembre de, de 2020. Okay. You're like, what? Yeah, no. Ok, December 18th es nuestra última fecha. Y pues, que si no me equivoco, este fue nuestro último viernes. Ya la otra semana estamos de lunes a jueves y así igual la, la última semana, ok. Solo había que reponer okay. dos, dos viernes para llevar al día todo y poder salir bien. Si no, íbamos a estar saliendo el 24, ¿ok? okay. Es cierto. En Christmas. En Christmas, right? Ok. Um, bueno, eh, ¿alguna pregunta, chicos? ¿Alguna dificultad que he encontrado en la página? Me lo dejan saber. Yo aquí voy a estar aún por una hora más. Ok. okay. En esta cueva. Good. Good. Ok, good. Have a nice night. Please have some rest. Night. Enjoy your weekend. Nice night. Take you care. Bye-bye.